The hot stove remains hot in the Big Apple with another big signing for the Mets. The club is in agreement with this man, Japanese right-hander Kodai Senga, for five years and $75 million. It includes a player opt-out after three years. Our CBS Sports MLB insider Jim Bowden has confirmed the news. The soon-to-be 30-year-old Senga was a star in Japan, making three all-star teams, winning five Japanese series championships, and he joins a loaded pitching staff with Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander, and Jose Quintana. Mets owner Steve Cohen spending big, and the payroll for 2023 is, uh, is going to be well over $400 million. Can we bring that full screen back up? Because I want to point that out before we talk to Matt. Because we got to set the stage here for this. Okay, look at this. Look at this. $460 million in contracts that have been handed out this offseason. That includes Edwin Diaz in November. That includes Brandon Nimmo just last week. Um, like, this is, this is uh, it's not your money. So it's like, you don't care if, if you're a Mets fan. You're like, keep on spending, Big Daddy Steve Cohen. I mean, look at this. Look, the projected payroll in 2023 with penalties, because he's going to go way over the luxury tax threshold, $421 million, highest in MLB history. He's trying to buy a World Series. I don't blame him. I don't blame him. Get some instant analysis. Welcome in CBS Sports MLB writer Matt Snyder. Matt, I mean, the Mets are just keep on spending here. Steve Cohen's just opening up the bank account and just giving another contract here to Kodai Senga, five years, $75 million, your reaction. I wish that we had 30 owners or 29 owners that were exactly like Steve Cohen because this is exactly what these mega rich owners should be doing. They're trying to help the team win a World Series for the fans. Yeah, for himself. He's a fan. This is a toy for him. He's worth billions and billions and billions. That's a fraction of his net worth that he's paying right there to try to put the best products possible on the field for the Mets. And I, like I said, I just wish that every single owner operated in the same fashion that Steve Cohen did. Fans don't need to hear about crying about biblical losses from the uh, by the owners. They don't want to hear about how, oh, we don't make as much money as you think we do. They don't need to hear about from the Reds owner before opening day last year. Hey, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? You can't go to a different team. you got to come to us, to the fans of Cincinnati. No, 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 no. Steve Cohen goes out and he says, you know what? This is my toy, and I'm going to keep spending on it until we win the World Series for you, fans. That's what I'm going to do for you. I love it. All right, so what do we know about Kodai Senga, the soon-to-be 30-year-old who was a star in Japan? He's an ace. He, he was in Nippon professional baseball. He's an ace, and we've seen it carry over in recent years with other aces of his ilk, like you, Darvish and Masahiro Tanaka. So we, we think that it probably will translate into frontline stuff, even if it's not right away. There's always an adjustment period. Uh, just first off the top of my head, they play a lot fewer games. A lot of the teams over the year there have deeper rotations. They don't play as many days of the week. There are There's only one time zone, so you don't have to deal with like East Coast to West Coast travel or anything like you do here. So there will be an adjustment period, but I think he's definitely a frontline starter. Even if he's mid-rotation starter to begin his time with the bets, they already have Max Scherzer and Justin Verlander. They don't need him to pitch like an ace. They just need him to be a three. Uh, he's going to sit about mid-90s fastball. His outpitch Pitch, you don't see this too often in the majors these days. Most of the times you see dropping pitches. It's a splitter or even a two seamer, something like that. Maybe a 12 to six curve. He's got a fork ball. And a few of those highlights, you can see it dropping off the table. I'm really excited to see that fork ball in action in major league baseball. All right. So they do not re-sign Jacob deGrom, but what they do is they hand out more than $460 million in guaranteed money this off season. You include Edwin Diaz, uh, in the offseason moves who agreed to a deal well over $100 million. Let me just say that one more time. $460 million worth of guaranteed money in contracts here. What sort of message did Steve Cohen just send to the rest of the league? I'm the top dog. When it comes to free agency, I'm the man. See, that's what I wanted him to do just to see if it was possible. It is to kind of make them the new evil empire. And remember what mid 2000s or so every time there was a big free agent it was like oh the Yankees are just going to sign him that's what Cohen wants the Mets to be and now it's not going to be every single guy they're not going to go after Carlos Correa Aaron Judge signed back with the Yankees but I still think it, the, the message has been sent that hey 
We are a major player on every single frontline free agent. He's making it happen on a good number of them right now. So it's, it's pretty fun to watch. The latest acquisition, Japanese star right-hander Kodai Senga, five years, 75 million bucks. I mean, my goodness, the hot stove piping hot in Queens. Matt Snyder here on CBS Sports HQ. Matt, thanks. There's one reason you're spending money, to win a World Series. Here, look at the odds to win the World Series. At this point, the Mets should be the favorites, okay? I don't care that the Astros just won the World Series. The Mets are loaded. And when you sit here in December, the Mets have won the offseason. It's great, but you got to win in the regular season, and you got to win, most importantly, the postseason. They won in the regular season, won 101 games. But you can't lose in the first playoff series you play. You can't have that happen. You cannot have that happen. can't. Mets are looking to win their third World Series in franchise history, first since 1986, and Steve Cohen has loaded up the roster. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.